Good Sunday morning, Memorial Day weekend. So we're gonna take a little walk outside and see what's going on. These are my flowers that have not produced flowers yet. And as you can see, we've had an accident. The other night, me and Frank butt the dogs out and there was a cat sitting in the window and the dog saw it. Of course, the dogs got into my plants and messed it up. So, hmm, I don't know what we'll do with that. Anyway, look at our plants. These are tomatoes and peppers. And let me show you a little something. Oh, looky here. Looky there. First little, can you see it? First little, oh, look there. There's a big one. Peppers are coming out. And look at my tomatoes and another pepper plant. Oh, look, there's, they're starting to come through. My tomatoes, I gotta get them stalked up and um, put into different places. But anyway, as of right now, they're looking really good. My flowers are doing so good, and my fern. And oh, let's go back over here. I know I'm confusing, but when it circles kind of. My little oh, pretty flowers there. And these are not looking so good. I think the rain <laughs> just about took them out. Anywho, I just love my little palmy tree on the. I know it's not a palm tree, but I don't know what it's called, so I love it. Anyway, we'll go back out this way, and we'll take a little. My other beautiful plant, so cute. I love it. Take another trip. Let's go see what the dogs are up to. Because at night time, they stay in the laundry room because that's where they love it. It's right next to the back door, and they're really good guard dogs. In the daytime, they stay down there in the backyard. They're great guard dogs. And remember, we had this building right here, if you remember, on stilts before our neighbor... That owns that house. Decided to pull his building up seven feet, probably. So when he did that, we couldn't get through <laughs> between the two buildings to get to our backyard. So I put me up some lattice. I did that myself. Hmm? How do you like that? I did it all by myself. Frank bought it, brought it home, and I put it up. And I have to say, did a pretty good job. I used me some zip ties to hold it together up there. Some white ones so you can't see it. I got me some ivy started growing along the bottom. So hopefully it'll fill up so we don't have to look over there. Anyway, that's rude. But anyway, we had to move this building. And we did. Me and Frank and my son Wayne. We moved this building through that gate. And it was horrible. An absolute nightmare. It barely fit through the gate, but we did it. I almost broke some ribs. I was on the other side of that building when Frank was pushing from this side with a van. I was on the other side trying to uh, unwedge it from the house there. It was stuck right there. With a 2 by 4 which had been working great before that. All of a sudden, the 2 by 4 broke. <laughs> and um, almost broke me. But anyway, I lived to tell it about it another day. Anyway, let's go see if we can sneak up on the dogs. We gave this, this was Kelly's playhouse when it was up on stilts. But since we had to move it, we're going to, it's a whole other story, but we're getting her a new one. So we gave this to the dogs because it has an air conditioning in it. We have power run to it. And we have air conditioning in it. So when the dogs are back here, and on days like today when it's 90 degrees, you know, they got a cool place to go. Let's see if we can look in the window and see what they're doing. Mm. Mm. That's what Sugar does best. It's like they sleep. She doesn't even know we're out here. Pepper's in there somewhere. Probably in the corner asleep. But yep, I got air conditioning. There's sunlight can come through, but not a lot. It's got electricity. It's got lights in it. Because this was Kelly's Playhouse. It's got carpet. A nice paneling. But anyway, here's our 
potatoes and onions that Frank planted. And I believe there's something else in there, but I'm not sure what it is. We'll see. Anyway, let's go down here and see what's going on with the uh, rest of the yard. <sighs> the grass is really green after all this rain. Our magnolia tree is putting its blooms out and they smell so good. When the wind hits them just right, oh, it smells so good. And that is our green apple trees. Two of them. Hmm, something smells bad down here. Hmm, I don't know what that is. Anyway, <laughs> so anyway, sometimes when these trees produce apples like they have this year, right there at that gate, I mean that fence, that's our backyard. Sometimes at night, if you look out here just right time, there'll be a deer on the other side of that fence and it will hop over and walk right over here to this tree that's hanging to the ground almost and have it a little snack of green apples. And we have so many. They're not very big right now, but they will get really big. Oh, well, that's a good one. It is loaded down this year. Loaded to the ground. <laughs> Literally. It's like a foot from the ground. And it has so many apples. Both of them do. There's two. I keep saying like it's one, but there's two apple trees here. Oh, it's like 10 degrees cooler under the under these trees. It is so pretty. So shady. But anyway, so we got a lot of apples this year. I wish somebody would prune these trees for me. Save me from doing it. Anyway, I've been working on the backyard trying to get it trimmed up because see that's kind of a jungle down through there. And I have worked on that, but let's see, I have neck problems. I'm having neck surgery in uh, June the 22nd. So they kind of take it easy with that <laughs> working in the yard too much for a little bit. Anyway, that's the back of our dog house. I think I hear one of them. What is that smell? Something must have died around here. Every once in a while, we have coyotes and foxes, and I mean, we have a lot of them. We're right in the middle of downtown Bremen, Georgia. I mean, the school, the school, the H.A. Jones Elementary School is right across the street from us. But we have so many coyotes and foxes around here. Let's look in and see if they've heard us. Yes! There's that baby! There they are! You want to come outside? Let's open the door and let them out. But anyway, they kill. Come on, girls. Oh, it's so cool in there. No wonder y'all are sleeping. They kill so many cats around here. Sugar, come back here, baby. Sugar, come on. Sugar, come on. Sugar. Okay, nobody listens to me. Come on, girls, let's go. Come on. Come on, Shuggy. Let's close the gate before the wild children get out on my foot on the mud. That would have been horrible. Anyway, we have lots of doggies around here. Sugar and pepper and sugar and pepper. I don't know why they call it. Don't get on my shoes, you dirty dog. You dirty dog. You, you dirty dog, you. Did you bite me? Anyway, we have lots of coyotes and foxes around here. I think I've said that like five times now. I keep getting distracted. And um, they kill a lot of cats around here. Yes, they do. You stay there and be good girls, okay? You stay there and be good girls. Look, there's the school right across the street. That's where Kelly goes to, or did go to school. She's going to the academy this year. Next coming year. But we have lots of woods around here. We have lots of deer, lots of coyotes, lots of foxes, lots of cats. Last night we had a cat fight out here on the front porch. We don't know who it was. It wasn't our cats. Ours, ours are inside cats. But we had some cats out here having a fit. Hmm. Beautiful American flag. Let's end it with that on a great Memorial Day weekend. I hope everybody stays safe. Has a great time with your family. And remember all of our fallen troops throughout all the wars. Thank you for your service, everybody. Have a great day.